What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. And today we are going to be reacting to and talking about and discussing FIFA 21's new features. Now, earlier today I put up a video about um, covering the new um, reveal trailer that they talked about that they released and we discussed that. So if you want to go back and watch that, you can. It's on the channel. Um, but today we are going to be discussing the new features. So... Um, if you want to go more in depth than what this video is going to be, you definitely can. You're more uh, you're more than free to do that. Um, just go to ea.com and look up the FIFA section of it, or type in FIFA 21 new features into your preferred search hub, and you can you can go more in depth. Um, we are mainly not get, we aren't going to talk about um, FIFA Ultimate Team or Volta Football. So if that's what you want to you want to look at, then you can go and discuss it. Uh, and, and look at it and talk about it. I'm going to mainly focus on um, career mode and maybe a little bit of gameplay. Probably, you know what, probably not gameplay. Just just mainly career mode, and then I may take a quick look at the end of the video at this unrivaled authenticity stuff because it's kind of it's kind of piquing my interest. But the main thing that I want to focus on is this career mode um, article that they have. So manage every moment. So as you can see by the picture in the left, they have a kind of a, a football manager-esque um, screen where you can go into the game and watch your team versus the team that you're playing against and kind of like a, a two-dimensional um, pitch with the player's numbers and stuff and going around like a, like a usual um, simulation kind of thing that you would see in football manager or you would see in, in uh, like other types of games like that with it's a heavy sim kind of game and stuff. So that would be a new... That's definitely a, a better version of what they have now because in FIFA 20 and, and, and a lot of games in previous editions of FIFA, they have just one team on this side, one team on this side, and they have the what happens on the right, and then they have on the bottom right, it's uh, like different scores from around the world and stuff. So it's kind of just a bland simulation kind of thing. Nobody really cares about it. Most people skip it. So this would definitely um, bring some more, some fresh perspective into your simulation games maybe make you think about your simulations a little bit more um new additions create additional depth in matches transfers and training to give you more control over your team's rise to the top so that little um sentence right there is basically everything that the content creators for fifa have been talking about for the past like five years or so since uh fifa kind of went downhill but Hopefully this year is the turning point for it. Um, the first one says, experience a whole new way to play out your season with new interactive match sim, which is what we just talked about. Uh, jump in and out of matches to influence the course of the action or take charge of key moments, including penalties and free kicks to change the outcome of the match. Monitor match data and make changes directly from the sim based on the match stats and your player's performance levels and stamina. So basically what that is saying is you can go far more in depth with this little match sim thing than you could with any other previous simulation in a FIFA game. So I'm sure this is leaning heavily towards Football Manager in the way that you can that you can more in depth you can do more in depth things with the simulation while it's going on. Like you can't in in FIFA 20 you can only start the game and then you just let it go it just happen whatever happens happens the AI makes the changes for you they sub people in and out they get red cards yellow cards injuries it just it's whatever happens happens so in this I would assume you can pause the game you can make changes when you want to make changes whoever you want to change um, during a sim it gives you basically it gives you more control of a simulation than any previous version of FIFA in the past so that's a very good um, that's a very good stepping stone, a very good improvement, a step forward in the path to a good game for FIFA 21. And it also says you can jump in and out of matches to influence the course of action. So I'm assuming that that means you can, let's say you're in the th the 42nd minute, right before halftime, and you're got a free kick. 
and right before the free kick happens, you decide, you know what, I'm going to jump in and try to score a goal right before half to give our team the advantage. So I would assume that you'd be able to, to do that, jump in and kick the free kick and then play as long as you want. And then maybe you could pause the game when a, like when a, a play or a ball goes out of bounds or out of play or something or a goal happens and, and stoppage happens. Then you can jump back out and keep simulating. I'm assuming that's what they're talking about. I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about, but maybe it changes. Who knows? Um, the next paragraph says, manages players' development in greater detail with revamped growth system. Turn right backs into right wingers, defensive midfielders into center backs, and and more to fill and more to fill gaps in your team. And monitor player attribute changes during training to see how your squad is progressing. So they're changing the training system, which needed a um, it's a much needed change because. The training system now is you just pick like, what was it, five players or something, and five individual players, and you pick a gold, silver, or a bronze training session. Nobody really picks bronze training sessions or silver training sessions. It's usually just gold training sessions. And then you just go from there. But what this is saying is you you might be able to, to pick different, um, like more than one person or something, or you can change positions, which is something that, that people that have played FIFA forever have been, have been wanting, they've been clamoring for, and you can only do it in modded FIFA with uh, the Pfeiffer mod and other mods out there that you can change on PC, but you can't on console. So that's a little bit frustrating for everybody who plays console. I personally play console and I can't change positions and stuff, which kind of sucks. But with this, it looks like you might be able to, as you can in Football Manager, train somebody on a different position and then that adds that position to them as they get better in that position then they can possibly convert over to that. So maybe that's kind of the direction that they're going in. It's kind of what it seems like, what it reads, is that you can maybe, let's say you want to turn, um, I don't know, you want to turn Virgil van Dijk into a central defensive midfielder. So I don't know why you would, but that's just the first name that popped in my head. So you want to turn Van Dyke into a central defensive mid midfielder. You can take his training sessions and make him better at like passing and and um, long balls and crossing and stuff like that to give him more stats in the defensive midfielder mindset and then maybe down the road in a couple of seasons depending on how he's growing how he's playing that position you can convert him to that position and then it'll be like cdm slash center back instead of center back so that's just that's just what i have is what i think is what they're talking about here um, the next paragraph is get more insight into your squad's performance levels with match sharpness, uh, a new attribute that indicates how likely your players are to perform in the most crucial moments during the course of a game. Increase your player's sharpness with a new active training system that gives you the ability to set up group training sessions to improve the likelihood of your strikers putting big chances away or, def or defenders making key tackles. So match sharpness is an interesting one because, sorry, because, uh, it's it's definitely more important than stamina. I feel like match sharpness is going to affect players more than stamina does because stamina is just how tired they are or how ready they are for the game, but um, or how fit they are for the game. But match sharpness, I would assume, is like morale and, and mental. So maybe the 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 morale is going to come more into play with uh, the way that players get ready for the game and stuff. So like if they have a, a yellow or a red morale, maybe their sharpness is gonna be down as well. That's just off the top of my head what I'm thinking. And a new active training system that gives you the ability to set up group training sessions. So I would assume with it says uh, strikers putting big chances away or defenders making key tackles, I would assume that the, training set, the active training session means you can take, instead of just single players like you have been in the past, you can take, um, groups positions of players like you can take the whole striking core and set them up for striking abilities and train the entire strikers all the strikers you have instead of just training one specific striker or you can take the center the the defenders or you can take the midfielders the wingers or, or like goalkeepers or like you can take specific positions instead of just one player in that position so that's just what i think that says um if that is what's what's going to happen that's really good that's a really good improvement i like that um, next paragraph is plan your team's training schedule with a new activity management system. Decide when to train and when to rest during the week as you balance your player's sharpness with morale and fitness to make the difference between winning and losing. So morale comes into play here. Like I said, in the previous paragraph, um, 
So player sharpness, I would assume, goes hand in hand with morale. It's probably going to be one and two right there, like one A, one B kind of thing. Um, but a new activity management system is pretty interesting because it's going to focus, hopefully, by what this is saying, is it's going to basically make you want to think about your um, your players more in depth. It's going to make you want to focus more on the little details of the career mode when it comes to your players more than just the, the regular training system that you've had in the past. So I think that's a good change. It's going to make you dive more in depth into it and stuff. That's that's a good, uh, a good improvement. Um, enhanced opposition AI sees opponents approach games with more intelligence in both defense and attack. New systems create more informed AI decision-making in, ma in marking, tackling, passing, and dribbling to present you with more challenges during each match and keep your career fresh from game to game. So basically what this is saying is that the AI is going to be smarter <laughs> is, is the basic bare bones way to say it they're gonna be smarter at least from the paragraph who knows if that's actually gonna happen from launch if the a is gonna be smarter or not but i know from watching a bunch of, of career mode youtubers and just hearing from the community and stuff that um let's say you're doing a a, a career mode with a small team like a road to glory kind of thing with a, a league one team in england and you're you're going in the FA Cup against uh, Man United or Chelsea or some big team Liverpool, some big team like that. You're more than likely, at least on FIFA 20, at least on FIFA 20, and in games past, um, you're more than likely to win that game because the big teams don't really play very well against small teams in in, in FIFA 20 um, coding and stuff for some reason. I don't know why. FIFA, FIFA 20 likes to have the big teams don't really play good against the little teams and the little teams play way better than the than the big teams for some strange reason but with this AI enhanced AI thing maybe that's going to change I I hope it does because that's kind of frustrating if you're trying to do a realistic uh, road to glory or something and you, you end up beating a, a big six a top six team in England like that's not gonna you, you would never do that. No no League One team is ever going to be a, a top six team in real life if they have their full starting 11 out there. So it's just too big of a, of a talent gap. So hopefully the AI is definitely stronger and definitely better. Um, FIFA 20 career mode enhances transfer realism by providing both human and AI controlled teams with new ways to sign players. Uh, make loan to buy offers with an optional or mandatory future transfer fees to secure new talent for your team and respond to AI manager initiated player swap proposals as you look to master the transfer market. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. FIFA 21 is finally addressing the transfers and the the loans and the, and the all that stuff, the transfer market in general. FIFA 20 was so frustrating the way that you couldn't, the AI would never... It would never feel as real because the AI, the AI would never make the same deals, not the same deals, but similar deals with you that you would make with them or real. They wouldn't make realistic deals. They would they would take Messi from Barcelona or they would take Ronaldo from uh, from now Juventus, I guess. But I feel like the way that they're doing this, their way that they're saying this now is AI is going to be smarter with how they come in for bids. And if you have somebody on the transfer list that you really want to transfer and they're at a decent age, the AI will come in for a bid instead of just asking for a loan or just not come in for a bid on them in general. Or they maybe they won't come in for a, for a winger when they have like four wingers already or something like that. So maybe they're going to be smarter um, in those senses and they have new ways to sign players, which is good because there's been annoying it's been annoying with the way that you can sign players now you can cheat the system and you can do all that kind of stuff and and uh loan to buy is is good because that's never been in the game before and that's a real thing that that clubs do in real life they actually loan to buy players and they they do future transfer fees to secure um talent that is good too because that's more realistic all this is just more realism that makes you want to immerse yourself in the game which is crucial it's crucial to the game's success if you're immersed in the game and it makes you feel like you're actually there sorry it makes you feel that you're actually there and that you want to keep playing this game these kind of these little things i say it every video these little things are what makes your game and now they're finally listening and for some reason the same company ea can't do that with madden i don't know why 
they are pushing so heavily like i'm happy for fifa i'm happy that they're they're getting all this new stuff in career mode they're actually concentrating on career mode a little bit more than than what they have been in the past even though they're still focusing more on ultimate team and all that kind of stuff the stuff that makes them money but they're still putting a little bit of effort into into fifa 21 career mode and yet in madden 21 we're still getting the same bullcrap stuff that we got in the past four maddens so that, that's just i don't i don't want to get into it the ea is just a very backwards company when when it comes to that kind of stuff so it's just very frustrating but back to this i'm getting off on a tangent <laughs> i could go on a whole video about that but uh the final paragraph is customize your career mode with a new initial setup options get more true life or true to life experience of negotiating signings on the transfer market with authentic transfers or boost your team's sta uh, starting budget to help you build your squad fi with financial takeovers so basically what that's saying is financial i'm a little confused about financial takeovers because we can already do that from the catalog if you if you get a redeem if you have enough um coins to redeem from the catalog and stuff or points i guess but maybe that's saying you won't need to do that anymore you'll just be able to do it from the start menu like when you start up a career mode at the beginning you'll be able to choose whether or not you want to do a financial takeover i know that in the past couple of maddens they've done or maddens in the past couple of fifas they've done um, if you've played career mode on the previous version of the game, they give you like an option to do a 60% increased budget at the start of a career mode. So maybe that's kind of the sim similar thing with uh, financial takeover. But authentic transfers is good because like I mentioned with uh, the AI in the transfer thing I, I mentioned I was talking about earlier, um, this is probably going to be where you wouldn't see the big players, the big name players, Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, um, Jao Felix, all these big name guys, Mohamed um, Salah, all these guys, they're not going to leave their clubs and their clubs aren't going to want to get rid of them. So authentic transfers is probably talking about how those guys are going to stay on those clubs for their entire career unless you actually physically come in and get them. But you probably aren't going to be able to get them for cheap. <laughs> I know that you probably can't get them for cheap in previous games, but maybe this is going to be more difficult negotiations. Um, that's just what I'm thinking off the top of my head on that one. But but that is, that's good. <laughs> this is good for a career mode in FIFA 20. Now let's just hope that uh, Madden does the same thing. Uh, hashtag fix Madden franchise if you want to tweet that out. Um, but so, so we've had uh, interactive match sims, revamp growth system, match sharpness, management activity management system uh, enhanced opposition ai new ways to sign players there's a lot of things there's a lot of things that that come through in this in this little article here this little thing but i do want to take here now i want to take this i want to learn more about uh unrivaled authenticity because i'm curious about juventus i want to know if juventus is in the game or not i haven't heard anything if they're not um so we have lead your favorite club to UEFA Champions League or Europa League glory. Experience the intensity of the uh, the Libertadores. Lift the Premier League trophy and re revel in the atmosphere of the Bundesliga and every or in the energy of La Liga. So they obviously have the licensing for all that stuff. Uh, play the world's most prestigious leagues. Uh, breathe the atmosphere in the pinnacle of club football, UEFA Champions League. Uh, fully licensed Europa League Super Cup. Uh, authentic branding, custom, yes, all that stuff still in here. Experience the authenticity of South America. Lead historic teams like River Plate, Boca Juniors, Flamengo, Corinthians, and more through heated competition of the Libertadores, the the Sud America, um, and the uh, the Recopa only in EA Sports FIFA. So they got the licensing for the three big South American cups. That is huge. I I am really excited about that because I like playing as Boca Juniors. So uh, FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Uh, is it any design? Pele, Maradona, Creo, uh, Ultimate Team stuff is okay. Um, only place where you can experience the competition, energy, and excitement are the world's most popular league. Play with all 20 Premier League clubs with their 2021 kits, logos, authentic broadcast, commentary, and pre-match uh, choreogra choreography. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Package making a most of the experience. And then... Uh, the EFL, include 72 member clubs, British football... They're just talking about all the licensing they have here. Oh, here we go. Um, from Turin to Milan, Naples, and Rome. Experience all the atmosphere and energy of Italy's historic top flight in FIFA 21. All Serie A uh, teams' biggest stars and playable in FIFA 21. Prestige, passion. They didn't mention Juventus. 
They didn't mention Juventus, so I don't know if they have the licensing from, for Juventus or if uh, Pez still has the licensing for Juventus. I haven't heard anything from Twitter or from any content creators or anything like uh, if they do have the Juventus licensing back. Now we move on to this with uh, Uber Eats. Fully explained. Experience. Much more um, branding and stuff. Uh, will include exclusive HD license for some of the world's greatest football league competition, including the English Football League, Mexico's La Liga, uh, Japan, and Major League Soccer. It also includes authentic license for the Chinese League, the Dutch League, uh, the Polish League, and the Pro League, the MBS Pro League. So the only thing I was curious about on this is did they have Juventus, and it doesn't look like they're saying anything about that, so I'll just scroll back up here to the top. And... I'm excited that they have more South American um, cups and, and licensing and stuff in there. That's good. The way that they mentioned it, they, they mentioned Boca Juniors by name, so obviously the Boca Juniors is going to be in the game, um, which is huge because Boca Juniors has never been in the game. Well, it's been in the game, but it hasn't been in for a while. It's been uh, Buenos Aires, I think, is what they call it on FIFA 20 or something. So that's big. Um, but Juventus is the one. You guys can let me know if Juventus, if you've heard anything about Juventus not being in the game. I would assume they're not going to be in the game, uh, but who knows, really. So you guys can let me know if you if you guys know or not, but um, I can always look it up. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I just wanted to take some time and discuss this uh, career mode update, I guess, <laughs> because it seems like they're doing a good job with this, with the career mode in FIFA. Maybe they could transfer some of that focus into Madden's career mode that would be nice but I guess we're not going to get that we're going to wait another year probably or maybe some patches or something in, in Madden but FIFA they're doing a good job at least by launch so that's going to be the end of this video I hope you guys do go on to enjoy and if you do make sure to smash the like button the video hit the notification bell and the subscription button down below as well it really does help me out I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one see ya